I am from India. I completed B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering with 63% in the year 2016. So will I get a visa to study a PG diploma in IT as I don't have any work experience? I'll answer this very brutally in a very brutally honest manner, Suraj. New Zealand needs your tuition fees because it's a very big industry for us. Uh, international education has now become a $5 billion industry for New Zealand. Uh, we are um, uh, is the fourth largest industry in New Zealand. It's employing 50,000 people for a country the size of New Zealand. This industry is doing phenomenally well. So 50,000 employees, uh, employed people, $5 billion revenue, which is a lot of money. So we absolutely, we would love to add your fees into that as well. And, you know, it will become part of the $5 billion industry. So the answer is yes, we are uh, uh, working very hard uh, as a, as a industry. And by industry, I don't mean just the companies like HAB. I'm talking about all the stakeholders from the government of New Zealand. It will start right from the prime minister to the minister of education to agencies like Education New Zealand to Immigration New Zealand. We we are all, you know, at the end of and uh, companies like AJV, which are part of this uh, whole setup. Uh, bottom line, we are trying to grow this industry in New Zealand. So we would absolutely be delighted to uh, welcome young people like you who will come with your valuable dollars and pay your tuition fees uh, and support our economy. And then while you're working, you will earn your salaries and pay your valuable taxes, which will go again into the New Zealand economy. So we absolutely need you guys. And if you're going to choose uh, so your visa will be fine as long as uh, you know you don't do anything stupid like putting fake documents and stuff like that but if you're working with a company like aj we will absolutely ensure that your visa process happens in the right professional legal manner so that's what we guys will do uh, but uh, as far as uh, your uh, uh, course choice uh, pg diploma in it fantastic because again we have a shortage of uh, it workers the good skilled it workers in new zealand so we would love to you know encourage young people like you to come so the fact that you don't have work, any work experience will not affect your visa. It might affect a little bit about your post-study during your post-study work visa when you're going out to look for work. It might be a bit of a hindrance, obviously, because if there are five people applying for the job and four have experience and one does not have experience, so obviously they are already at a uh, back foot as compared to your other four competitors for that position. So obviously, but then hey, look, you know, once you come here and you start studying, you know, you could probably look for some kind of work to picking up some kind of part-time work experience in your field or if you're not able to find part-time work experience in your field and let's say you're working in a supermarket through your own uh, interest you should be able to you know pick up uh, bits and pieces about your work experience you can probably do volunteering work while you're studying and uh, and you know do some uh, it work and still get a letter saying that for one year i was working as a volunteer it worker so you know there are various uh, ways of doing that uh, uh, plan to go forward